Chapter 2 DST Overview What is DST? DST, Drill Stem Testing, is a temporary completions with different combinations of downhole tools run on drill pipe or tubing. DST is used equally to control the well during dynamic test operations. DST Concept DST, Drill Stem Testing the primary DST functions, whether conducted in open hole or cased wells, are to isolate the target zone, control well flow, convey fluid to surface, and acquire downhole data. The three basic equipment of a drill stem test, DST, consist of a string, tubing or drill pipe, a packer, and a valve. The string channels the flow to surface. The packer is a rubber element to isolate the zone to be tested. The valve provides a method of controlling the well near the reservoir. The three basic pressures involved in a DST are the hydrostatic pressure pH, the formation pressure PF, and the cushion pressure PC. Generally, the relationship among these pressure is pH greater than PF and PF greater than PC. The packer isolates the formation from the annulus. The two pressures, pH and PF, must be isolated from one another. The tester valve controls the formation, shut the well downhole to minimize well bore storage effect, isolates annular fluid from cushion while running in hole preventing U tubing, and provides a seal for pressure test the string. After the packer is set and sealed, the tester valve can then be opened and hydrocarbons can be produced to surface. This will occurs only if PC is less than pH. The general steps for ending a DST are 1. Open the reverse circulating valve and reverse out, flush hydrocarbons from drill pipe or tubing. 2. Close the reverse circulating valve. 3. Open the tester valve. 4. Pump mud into test string to kill the tested interval. 5. Unseat the packer. 6. Pull the string out of the hole. During the initial phase of the test, the wellbore fluids, and later, the drilling fluid, mud, that has invaded the formation in the vicinity of the wellbore, flow to surface. This is known as the cleanup period. The cleanup is complete when the well effluent at surface is reservoir fluid that contains no mud particles or cuttings at surface. Once cleanup is complete, the main flow period can be maintained for the planned duration, during which downhole pressure measurements and surface flow rates are recorded. At the end of the main flow period, the tester valve is closed. Formation pressure builds up against the valve while downhole pressure measurement continues. There are three main types of DST available. Open hole DST where packer is set in the open hole section of the well. Barefoot DST where packer is set in the casing section but the well is flowing from open hole. Cased hole DST where casing needs to be perforated in order to flow the well and very rarely straddle DST used in open or cased hole. Different DST configurations may be used depending on well location and configuration, either for land rig, offshore fixed, offshore floating, or deviated well. DST Packers Packers are designed to isolate the perforated interval from the mud column. The weight applied on the packer compress its rubber elements against the casing and creates a seal between the annulus and tubing. Three main types of packers are available. Flex pack packer. Positist packer. And positrieve packer. DST tester valve. Various types of tester valves are used. Multi-flow evaluator. It is operated by manipulation of the test string and it is generally used onshore and on jackup rigs. Pressure Controlled Tester, PCT. It is operated by annulus and tubing pressure and it is generally used offshore and on floating facilities. Intelligent Remote System. It is operated by pressure pulses in annulus and it is generally used offshore and on floating facilities. Typical DST TCP Tool String. A typical DST TCP tool string is composed, from bottom to top, of perforating gun, safety spacer, firing head, tubing, debris sub, slotted tailpipe, packer, safety joint, 
hydraulic jar, pressure recorders, hydrostatic reference tool, downhole valve, surface readout, drill collars, radioactive marker sub, surface readout, drill collars, redundant circulating valve, drill collars, slip joints, and finally, tubing or drill pipes. Thank you for your attention. This is the end of today's presentation. In the next video presentation, Chapter 3, you will learn about TCP, tubing conveyed perforation.